Beneath Alaska's wild and untamed landscape lies a geological force so immense it could rewrite the story of our planet. The Aleutian Arc, a region already known for its volatile eruptions and constant seismic activity, may hold a secret of staggering proportions. A hidden supervolcano capable of unleashing devastation on a global scale. Geologists have uncovered evidence suggesting that a network of volcanoes within the Aleutian Islands could form part of a colossal volcanic system, potentially rivaling the infamous Yellowstone caldera. An eruption of this magnitude would be nothing short of catastrophic, sending massive clouds of ash into the atmosphere, plunging the planet into a volcanic winter, and disrupting ecosystems and societies worldwide. Yet, much about this looming threat remains shrouded in mystery, as the region's harsh conditions have left large areas unexplored. Stretching 1,200 miles across the North Pacific Ocean, the Aleutian Islands form a dramatic volcanic chain connecting Alaska to Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula. This area is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, a tectonic belt where earthquakes and eruptions are a constant reminder of Earth's restless energy. The island's fiery origins can be traced to the subduction of the Pacific Plate beneath the North American Plate. As the Pacific Plate sinks into the mantle, intense heat and pressure generate molten rock, which rises to the surface through fractures in the crust. This process has created over 40 active volcanoes scattered across the Aleutian Arc, each contributing to the region's rugged and volatile nature. These volcanoes vary in activity, with some erupting frequently and others lying dormant for centuries. Explosive eruptions, flowing rivers of lava, and massive ash clouds have carved the islands into their current dramatic landscapes, serving as a reminder of the immense power locked beneath the surface. Subduction zones like this are not only centers of intense volcanism, but also hubs of seismic activity making the Aleutian Arc one of the most dynamic and unpredictable regions on the planet. The Aleutian Arc is a region of constant seismic activity, ranging from minor tremors to powerful earthquakes, each offering vital clues about the movement of tectonic plates and the dynamics of magma beneath the surface. These geological events are windows into the processes shaping this volatile region, revealing a story that extends far deeper than the island's surface. Beneath the Aleutian volcanic arc, scientists have uncovered evidence pointing to the existence of a supervolcano. Advanced geophysical surveys have revealed an immense magma chamber hidden deep underground, comparable in scale to other well-known supervolcanoes like Yellowstone. Recent studies suggest that a trail of volcanic islands within the Aleutian arc may actually form part of a single, massive caldera. If this hypothesis is correct, this ancient supervolcano could have once erupted with a force far exceeding the infamous 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. Central to this discovery is a semicircular cluster of volcanic peaks in the Aleutian Islands known as the Islands of the Four Mountains IFM. While these peaks, Herbert, Carlisle, Cleveland, Tana, Uliaga, and Kagamil, were long thought to be independent volcanoes, Recent findings suggest they may actually be interconnected vents along the rim of a vast, hidden caldera. A geophysicist at the U.S. Geological Survey's Alaska Volcano Observatory explained that if this colossal volcanic system had erupted in the last few millennia, it could have caused global disruptions, significantly affecting civilizations around the world. To investigate the true nature of this potential supervolcano, Researchers have utilized a combination of geological studies and cutting-edge technology. Seismometers were deployed to detect subtle tremors, while chemical analyses of escaping gases provided insights into the subsurface conditions. As the data was analyzed, researchers began to uncover perplexing features that pointed to a monumental and ancient eruption. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence is the distinctive half-ring shape of the IFM volcanoes. Such formations are often indicative of a caldera, a massive depression formed when a reservoir of magma empties during a cataclysmic eruption, 
causing the overlying ground to collapse. These calderas, which can span anywhere from 1 to 30 miles across, create fractures that allow magma to seep to the surface, often forming clusters of volcanic activity around their edges. In this case, scientists believe the IFM volcanoes may represent geological structures encircling a potential 12-mile-wide caldera, concealed hundreds of feet beneath the frigid waters of the Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean. Another critical piece of evidence lies in the discovery of welded ignimbrite, a type of rock formed when scorching volcanic ash is deposited in such immense quantities that its grains fuse into solid rock. These formations are a hallmark of massive eruptions and provide further proof of the incredible scale of volcanic activity in this region. If current theories hold true, researchers believe the vast underwater basin beneath the Aleutian Islands may be the result of a previous super-eruption. They have observed persistent, high levels of sulfur dioxide emissions from the central volcano of the island group, as well as a shared composition of volcanic gases from all six volcanoes. These findings suggest a connection to a much larger, unified magma source. Additionally, data from seismometers deployed in the area has revealed clusters of micro-earthquakes extending farther east and north, hinting at a massive volcanic system beneath the surface. Despite these discoveries, significant questions remain unanswered. Scientists are uncertain about the exact size of the caldera and whether it formed from one catastrophic eruption or a series of smaller events over time. The remote and unforgiving environment of the Aleutian Islands presents unique challenges for geological research, further complicating efforts to unravel the mystery. Reaching these islands is no small feat. Most of the islands are either uninhabited or sparsely populated, with little to no infrastructure to support fieldwork. Transporting researchers and equipment requires specialized vessels or helicopters, both of which are costly and logistically challenging. Adding to this difficulty is the sheer distance from major research facilities, which makes frequent expeditions time-consuming and expensive. The region's harsh climate compounds these challenges. Strong winds, heavy rainfall and snowstorms are common, often disrupting fieldwork and posing risks to researchers. Dense fog and poor visibility make air travel hazardous, while turbulent seas frequently hinder maritime operations. These adverse conditions limit the duration and scope of field expeditions, forcing researchers to carefully time their work around brief windows of favorable weather. Due to these logistical and environmental hurdles, the Aleutian Arc remains one of the least studied volcanic regions compared to more accessible areas like Yellowstone or Hawaii. The scarcity of long-term monitoring stations further limits the availability of real-time data, making it difficult to construct detailed models of the subsurface or detect subtle signals of volcanic or seismic activity. The hypothesis of a hidden supervolcano beneath the Aleutian Islands is both a scientific marvel and a source of concern. While the possibility of uncovering a massive ancient volcanic system might seem alarming, it does not necessarily point to an impending disaster. The research is still in its early stages, and with each new piece of evidence, scientists gain a clearer understanding of the region's hazards. Future studies could pave the way for improved hazard assessments and potentially mitigate the risks associated with such powerful natural phenomena. As the research unfolds, the Aleutian Islands will undoubtedly remain a focus for geologists, volcanologists, and disaster preparedness experts. By uncovering the secrets of this potential supervolcano, Humanity not only deepens its appreciation of the Earth's dynamic forces, but also enhances its ability to prepare for and respond to the extraordinary power of nature. But what if this massive force were to awaken today? The eruption would likely begin with a cataclysmic explosion, the result of mounting pressure within the vast magma chamber beneath the ocean floor. This initial blast would unleash energy comparable to thousands of nuclear detonations, tearing through the Earth's crust with unimaginable force. Entire islands in the Aleutian chain could be obliterated, consumed by rivers of lava, or buried beneath massive layers of volcanic ash. The ocean itself would respond violently, 
with waves surging outward from the epicenter, carrying the force of the eruption across great distances. As ash and debris ascend into the stratosphere, a dense cloud would rapidly spread, blanketing skies far beyond the immediate region. This ashfall would extend to cities and farmland thousands of miles away, from the Pacific Northwest to Asia. Crops would fail under the suffocating weight, disrupting global food supplies. Airports would cease operations as ash-laden air becomes a hazard to aviation, paralyzing international travel and trade. The effects of the eruption would extend far beyond the visible fallout. A vast amount of volcanic gases, particularly sulfur dioxide, would enter the atmosphere, combining with water vapor to form reflective aerosols. These particles would block sunlight, plunging the planet into a volcanic winter. Temperatures would plummet, triggering widespread crop failures and ecological disruptions. This chilling aftermath could last for years, challenging humanity's ability to adapt to a radically altered environment. The ocean would bear its own scars from the eruption. The force of displaced water could generate massive tsunamis with towering waves crashing into coastal cities and communities across the Pacific Rim. The sheer destructive power of these waves would overwhelm defenses, displacing millions and leaving behind a path of devastation. The air would become perilous as well. Fine volcanic ash, carried by winds across continents, would infiltrate lungs, damage machinery, and disrupt daily life. Acid rain, formed from volcanic gases, would corrode infrastructure and poison water sources. The combination of ash and gases would create a toxic atmosphere, amplifying the physical and societal toll. The human cost of such an event would be staggering. Entire communities would be displaced, infrastructure would crumble, and supply chains would disintegrate. Food shortages would lead to famine, while the economic repercussions would ripple through even the most stable nations. Respiratory illnesses would surge, and the sheer scale of the disaster would overwhelm healthcare systems. Social unrest and competition for scarce resources could push global tensions to the brink, testing humanity's resilience in ways never seen before. Yet, history offers glimpses of hope. Past volcanic events, like the eruption of Mount Tambora in 1815, showed humanity's capacity to endure and rebuild despite immense hardships. Modern advancements in technology and science provide tools to mitigate the impact of such disasters. Early warning systems, improved disaster response strategies, and global cooperation could save countless lives and help navigate the aftermath of a supervolcanic eruption. But what could possibly trigger such a catastrophic eruption and is there a fault line nearby that amplifies this risk? The Aleutian Arc owes its volatile nature to the Pacific Plate, which is steadily sliding beneath the North American Plate in a process known as subduction. This collision generates immense pressure and heat, causing the overlying mantle to melt and form magma. As this magma rises through the Earth's crust, it fuels the volcanoes that define the Aleutian Islands. Over millions of years, this cycle has built one of the most geologically active regions on the planet. Lurking beneath this dynamic landscape is a magma chamber of staggering proportions. Scientists speculate that it could rival or even exceed the size of Yellowstone's caldera, a chilling prospect given the potential consequences of its eruption. But what might awaken this sleeping giant? several factors could converge to trigger a super-eruption. One of the primary culprits is the accumulation of magma within the chamber. As magma continues to rise from the mantle, it increases pressure within the chamber, straining the overlying rock. If the pressure becomes too great, the crust could fracture, creating pathways for magma to surge to the surface in a cataclysmic explosion. Another trigger could come from external forces, such as earthquakes. The Aleutian Arc sits along the seismically active boundary of two tectonic plates, where fault lines crisscross the region like hidden scars. The constant grinding and shifting of these plates generate frequent earthquakes, ranging from minor tremors to massive, destructive events. 
A sufficiently powerful earthquake could destabilize the delicate balance of pressure within the magma chamber, acting as a geological tripwire for a super eruption. Subduction zones, like the one beneath the Aleutian Arc, are notorious for producing megathrust earthquakes. These are some of the most powerful seismic events on Earth, capable of releasing immense energy and causing widespread devastation. A megathrust earthquake in this region could have a cascading effect, fracturing the crust and releasing pent-up magma. Water, too, plays a role in the volatile chemistry of this region. As the Pacific Plate plunges into the mantle, it carries water from the ocean floor. This water lowers the melting point of the surrounding rock, increasing the volume of magma and the likelihood of an eruption. If a sudden influx of water occurs, perhaps from changes in plate dynamics or hydrothermal activity, it could dramatically increase pressure within the magma chamber, setting the stage for disaster. The interconnected nature of the Aleutian Arc's geological systems makes it an intricate puzzle, with every component influencing the others. Fault lines, magma dynamics, and seismic activity are all threads in a web of natural forces that can either coexist in fragile harmony or unravel in a moment of catastrophic upheaval. The potential for a super eruption in this region is a stark reminder of the planet's immense power and its lying just beneath the surface. The Aleutian Arc, with its fiery volcanoes and seismic turmoil, embodies the dynamic and unpredictable nature of Earth's geology. While much remains to be understood, one certainty is clear. The forces that could trigger such an event are not just theoretical. They are actively shaping this region every day. While the idea of its eruption is already chilling, an even more alarming possibility lingers in the minds of scientists. Could such an eruption trigger a cascade of volcanic activity in the surrounding region? Could nearby volcanoes, both active and dormant, be awakened by the fury of this geological giant? The Aleutian Arc is a chain of over 40 active volcanoes formed by the subduction of the Pacific Plate beneath the North American Plate. These volcanoes are not isolated features. They are part of a deeply interconnected system, sharing the same magma sources and tectonic forces. The region is like a network of pressure points, where disturbances in one area can ripple through the others, sometimes with devastating consequences. When a supervolcano erupts, the energy released is almost incomprehensible. Massive amounts of magma are expelled, causing the ground above to collapse into a vast caldera. This sudden removal of pressure can send shockwaves through the Earth's crust, fracturing rock and destabilizing nearby magma chambers. These fractures act as conduits, providing pathways for magma to rise to the surface in neighboring volcanoes. This phenomenon, known as volcanic triggering, has been observed in smaller scale eruptions. For example, the 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines was accompanied by seismic activity and pressure changes that affected nearby volcanoes. While not all nearby volcanoes erupted, the potential was evident. In the case of a supervolcano, the scale of such an event would be exponentially larger, raising the likelihood of a chain reaction. The Aleutian Arc's geological structure adds to the risk. Many of its volcanoes share a common magma reservoir, a vast underground network of molten rock feeding multiple volcanic systems. If a super eruption disrupts this reservoir, the balance of pressure and temperature within it could shift dramatically. Active volcanoes like Cleveland, Pavlov, or Shishaldin might respond with their own eruptions, while even dormant volcanoes, long thought to be quiet, could be stirred into activity. Earthquakes, which often accompany supervolcanic eruptions, could further amplify the danger. The Aleutian Arc is crisscrossed by fault lines, and the immense seismic energy released during an eruption could destabilize these faults. The resulting earthquakes might act as triggers, shaking loose magma in nearby chambers and setting off a chain of eruptions. Together, we can continue uncovering the mysteries of our world, one discovery at a time. Stay curious, stay prepared, and we'll see you in the next adventure.